Hi, I'm Kelsey, coming to you from Brooklyn Roasting Company's headquarters at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. Today, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to properly steam and texturize milk, and then we're going to pour some latte art. Milk is important because it adds an element of sweetness to your coffee. What we want to do is basically insert the right amount of aeration into our milk to make microfoam and heat it to the right temperature before serving. What we're going to need in order to do this is some milk, a stainless steel milk pitcher, and a cold wet rag to clean our milk wand. First, let's measure out the milk into the pitcher. You can eyeball it, put it a little bit below the spout. Get the steam wand ready by wiping it down and purging the tip. Turn it on quickly, turn it back off, and that's gonna get rid of any of the remaining water that might be in there from the previous time. Now, we're gonna insert the steam wand tip right up to about the line in the milk. I like to rest it right in the point, and that allows me to keep a good angle for the rest of the steaming process. Now I'm gonna turn the steam wand on full power and replace my hand to the side so that I can feel the temperature. At this point, we're gonna pull down very slowly until we hear a gentle ripping sound, and that's the aeration. That's us inserting air into the milk, giving it the texture that we want. This is gonna continue gently and quietly, only until it's a little bit warmer than the temperature of your hand. At this point, we're gonna lift it up. It's gonna make a whirlpool, and it won't be quite as loud. You're gonna continue that whirlpool until it's hot to the touch, and then stop your steam wand. Grab your milk rag, Wipe and purge the wand of any remaining milk in there. Knock out any bubbles and give it a good swirl. And now we should have perfectly steamed milk for latte art. So when we're pouring latte art, how we're gonna start is from holding our pitcher, pitcher height above and dropping it into a tipped cup so that it falls into the center of pooled espresso. I'm gonna keep it moving so that the crema doesn't get too stiff while I'm pouring. A little more than halfway up, we're going to start by getting very close, which will allow the white to appear. Give it a little wiggle if you like, and then lift your pitcher and cross it. And that will create your pretty little latte art.